Fallout 3 came out in 2008, and when it initially dropped, there was a lot of good mods for it. But it has been a long time since Fallout 3 came out. So are those mods still relevant in 2023? That's what we're exploring today. Today's mod that we're exploring is Alton, Illinois, one of the largest mods ever created for Fallout 3. It's essentially its own DLC. It was originally posted in October 28th of 2011 and last updated October 28th, 2013. This mod was created by Elijah, has had some minor third-party updates since its last update, but overall this mod is essentially a 10-year-old mod. The first time I played it was not too long after its initial release and I was immediately sucked in. This mod allows you to leave the Capital Wasteland because it is essentially its own DLC. You'll leave via an airport on an airplane and the plane will experience malfunctions and crash in Alton, Illinois. You'll immediately be introduced to the Underground Railroad, one of their factions, which is funny looking back now that Fallout 4 has been released. You will encounter an evil faction clad in plague armor, which is a really fun armor and I always felt fit the theme of Fallout very well. Helping the Underground Railroad deal with the Plague Faction is about the central plot. There are a lot of locations and it's actually an incredibly beautiful map, complete with a bridge and rolling landscape. And what's amazing about this mod is it still runs today. I did have some minor bugs and issues and had to use console commands to get around them, but overall the mod is functional, shockingly, 10 years after its last update. The mod offers you a choice, side with the Plague Faction, former Vault Dwellers who are damned and seeking revenge, or side with the Underground Railroad and help the largest city in Alton. It also provides side quests, which I think is really unique because not even all Fallout 3 DLCs can provide side quests. Because Alton takes place in an area not yet explored in the Fallout universe and so far away from the Capital Wasteland, it doesn't change or harm any lore of the games, but simply adds to it. What's shocking about this mod is it's actually twice the size of Point Lookout. And going back to it, it was actually quite easy to get back into. I will note that the voice acting of this mod leaves a lot to be desired, so definitely download the supplemental mods that the creator has linked on their page to make that playing experience just a little bit better. Now this mod is not without its bugs. I saw a few broken files and when I exited out and came back in, they were restored. There were some issues in the initial install, but so far it runs and with minor use of console commands, it's actually incredibly fun. It's one of the few opportunities you have, if you haven't played it yet, to have a unique new experience in a Fallout game. And that's why I think this mod is still relevant, especially because it runs in 2023. But I want to know what you think. Have you played it? Would you? Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and social pages.